I'm a little bit amazed by all the dangerous half knowledge <laughs> out there. Robert, you need to take uh, colloidal silver. This is the this is the thing that will heal your body. Other people said no, no, no. It's about oregano oil. And other people said no, no, no. It's about like this uh, chemical, and you need to mix it with this, and then you put it on and like. staying in bed because of my foot in the last video I shared with you that there's a lot going on right now but we're on a good path I'm still I'm not able to walk yet first of all I want to say thank you for all the messages, all the comments I received of people like caring and offering their advice, offering their their experience. Like yeah. I really appreciate that and at the same time <laughs> I'm a little bit amazed by all the dangerous dangerous half knowledge. <laughs> out there like I got like <laughs> any recommendation that you can think of like Robert you need to take uh, colloidal silver this is the this is the thing that will heal your body other people said no 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 it's about oregano oil and other people said no 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 it's about like this uh, chemical and you need to mix it with this and then you put it on and like other people were like, oh, this has something to do with some childhood trauma that you need to heal. And <sighs> it's like fascinating. It's basically the same thing that the doctor that was here last Wednesday did. He said, oh, we need to cut your foot open. We need to remove all the pus immediately. You need to take antibiotics, antibiotic cream, antibiotic um oral antibiotic and uh, anti-inflammatory and yeah it's basically the same thing it's this mentality of there is an evil in there and we need to fight against it it's just a different weapon <laughs> but what i'm learning right now with my studies of the five biological laws is that there's no evil inside. There is nothing we need to do. There is nothing we need to prevent from happening. Yeah, there's no infection. <laughs> no. It's just the infinite wisdom of my of my body at work. And it's my task to trust that and to not interfere with it. Yeah. And at the same time, it helps mentally to try to figure out why this reaction was started in the first place. Because it's no, like, out of a blue thing that just happened, out of bad luck. No. There's a very specific reason. And slowly I'm unpacking it. As I said, the past days I've studying five, bio five biological laws a lot. And there a certain um, procedure is described how you try to make sense of what is going on inside your body. First, you try to describe really accurately what is really going on. What are, the, what are the symptoms? What is your body expressing? And when I look at my foot, what 
I can really see is that for a couple of days the foot was very swollen and get more and more swollen it was really like the double the size of the other foot <laughs> and after that after this period of being swollen and hurting a lot of pus was coming out pus in german is eiter like this yellowish liquid thick liquid that is coming out of a wound a lot of pus was coming out and the foot this the the got less and less swollen this is what i can really observe and with that i try to locate i try to make it more concrete than my foot like which part of my foot which part like like where did this reaction happen and while studying the five biological laws i learned that the skin consists of three um, specific layers. The outer layer is called the epidermis. This is what you see everywhere on your body. Beneath that, the second layer is called the dermis. In German it's the Lederhaut. And in the dermis there are, for example, the sweat, sweat glands. And after I figured out that the dermis is the layer which first is able to make this like huge expansion like the swollen um, state and at the same time is able to produce pus I was like ah okay maybe I found something here and then after that the second step is to try to figure out why this part of my body why the dermis reacted in that way and in order to figure that out, um, you need to ask the question, what is the biological purpose of the dermis? Like, and if something that goes against your biological needs, what might be a sensible reaction of the dermis? And the dermis is there to protect us. It's quite a, quite a thick layer um, of skin. And the unique reaction that takes place there is that when you get attacked, like physically, somebody tries to uh, punch you, they try to punch you on your chest, then the part where you got attacked or where you sense an attack might hit you needs to get uh, stronger, needs to get thicker in order to be able to better protect you. So this is the unique reaction of the dermis when you sense an attack or when you got attacked that the um, the skin gets thicker, it gets swollen in order to be able to, uh, on this certain part of your body, to be better able to protect you. And this can be a physical attack, it can be a verbal attack. Somebody saying like, oh, uh, your, your, your chest is ugly. And it's possibility one. Like a local attack um, on this specific part of your body. It might be an attack, it's like the, the specific nuance in five biological laws is called, it's, it might be an attack or a soiling conflict. Attack might be like, as I said, somebody tries to punch you, somebody tries to hit you like verbally or physically, or a soiling conflict might be uh, you feel soiled, you feel, you feel dirty, you feel like, um, like I, I stepped into, a, uh, into, into the poop of a dog or I stepped into a snail, like something like that might evoke a soiling conflict as well, which is the same reaction. The dermis reacts in a way like, oh, I need, I need to get thicker in order to be able to protect against this attack or against this soiling. So in the conflict active phase, the dermis gets swollen, it gets thicker in order to be able to protect you against this attack. And when the conflict active phase is over, that means when you sense, ah, oh, the danger of attack or of soiling has passed, then of course this build up um, tissue needs to be needs to be removed. You cannot walk your whole life with this like <laughs> thickened part of, uh, of your body. So the tissue gets removed by uh, being converted into pus. And this gets eliminated through a little hole inside the outer layer of the skin. Um, and naturally the pus can flow out. 
without the need for any doctor to intervene. So with this understanding, of course, I asked myself, where did I feel attacked? Where did I feel soiled? Um, be, first of all, before my foot got swollen, where was an attack that afterwards resulted in my foot being swollen and then at the climax of my foot being like swollen and then just before the pus was coming out when the conflict resolution was taking place like which attack was over um, and to be honest I don't know I don't have a clear sense of ah this was going on yeah ah let me share with you the second possibility it might be a, a like a local a, a, a local conflict that was directed against this specific part of my body like a physical attack or a verbal attack um, or if a sense of of feeling soiled at this exact place because i stepped into um for example a snail um, or it might be a lateral conflict meaning it's not directed against this physical part of my body it's more yeah lateral and um, the foot stands for your, your your capability to move ahead in life to follow your life's path to walk your path and it might be a, an attack against this sense of i'm walking my path i'm i'm on my way so like a let in a lateral sense when i when i feel an attack against that this might be another reason why my uh, why my foot reacts in the way it did and then we need to connect this with the fact that it's taking place on the left side so it's very important in the five biological laws to figure out if you're right-handed or left-handed. I'm right-handed. And for a right-handed person, the right body side is the um, is the side where relationships that are on eye level take place. So with your partner or with your friend or with your enemy or like somebody where you, where you sense you meet them on eye level. And the other side like the left body side is connected with relationships that are more hierarchical. So with my mom or with my child or with my pet or somebody I am, I see myself as um, being responsible to take care for them. So if this would be a lateral conflict, not a local conflict of being attacked at this specific part of my body, if it's a lateral conflict, it might have to do with my sense of getting ahead in life, walking my life's path um caused by somebody where i sense because it's on my left side where i sense like a um a hierarchy but even that didn't bring huge clarity yeah and that's crazy like a couple of days ago i um I had a conversation with my dad and I shared with him like all the intricacies and we were like brainstorming and so on and he was like wow it's it's like crazy like how disconnected we are from what's really going on inside our bodies because if 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 like if your body reacts in an intense way like my foot did this should be something that you would be ruminating like the whole night you cannot sleep because it's so present this conflict how can I solve that but that was not the case for me somehow. Like my foot was swollen, of course, there was a lot of tension in the foot, but on a, like on a psychic level, like there was no feeling of like, oh, this is going on, I need to solve this. And then I finally solved this and then the puzzle was coming out and the, um, and the body stepped into the conflict resolution phase. So, yeah, this is where I'm right now. I don't have the clear answer and at the same time I understand a lot more what is going on there which helps me to yeah strengthen my trust for the incredible capabilities of my body 
and without exactly knowing what is going on I sent that thank you thank you to my body that um, <laughs> it is this incredible miracle all right that's the daily routine sea salt water bath before the foot looks kind of yeah it's not swollen anymore but a lot is coming out really so just took again some time to reflect on that but like with all the people that I perceive on this side there wasn't really a conflict over the past two weeks like with my mom I didn't have a lot of contact she's in she's in Germany right now losing yeah with Leo I'm feeling really nice like there's a huge support system right now with grandma, with with Mara, like many people who are really good with Leo. I sense that now finally I can step into my role of being a dad. Well, for the first uh, two, two and a half years of Leo's life, I um, I put in a lot of like mothering qualities because there was that was lacking and now I sense that this is not necessary anymore so there's a huge sense of freedom and like flow and like no feeling of being attacked of not being able to continue on my life's path like with Amo beautiful with Elena not a lot of contact over the past two weeks but okay and yeah, I, I cannot think of a person where I sense that oh, whatever this person did or whatever like happened felt like a huge like huge attack against me walking my life's path so yeah it's still a riddle <laughs> that I didn't solve it yet but hmm. that's okay I just had a meeting with uh, with El Dario. Um, he uh, and his company, we just signed an agreement. He and his company are supplying us with these beauties. These are earth screw foundations and they will fix our <laughs> dilemma that I shared uh, quite intensely over um, some of the past episodes. How can we on the steep slope that we are building, how can we make sure that we have stairs that are super stable, super safe, and at the same time, we are not putting concrete everywhere and um, um, yeah, sealing, sealing the soil and um, yeah, like exposing exposing the soil to so much toxicity. Um, and these earth screw foundations are perfect because we can they are just like a like a super big screw like two meters you can just drill them into the earth and then we can put our wooden stairs um, on top of them and if the moment arises where we sense that we need to make changes we can just remove it and we are leaving no traces behind so Adario and his company are supplying us with 220 of these earth screws this is the biggest um, the biggest component for Custodia yet. It's quite a big deal. Happy to have that <sighs> sorted out. One and a half weeks from now, they will already deliver the first ones, so we can start building our pathways. Look at this, friends. Massive rain. It's not been raining for a couple of days, but now it's pouring down. Unfortunately, just before David and Stefan, let me show you this. It's incredible. They've all, they are almost done with building our bathroom 
and our composting toilet this is on the land look at that I'm so sad that I could not join them look at the ah our little bamboo and wooden composting toilet and and bathroom area it's incredible but now they needed to stop look at that this is on the land just now it's pouring it's been one and a half weeks now that i haven't been on the land oh i miss it i miss it deeply mm. <laughs> i'm so excited to see everything that it changed over the past one and a half weeks yesterday in the evening david said like you will not recognize it it's like it's 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 fully transformed the area almost all the platforms are already done and like <laughs> maybe a couple more days in bed and then i can finally go i can finally go there again Thank you.